Hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to use the shape generator option in Inventor. It is very easy to use and it will provide optimum results for the same amount of load. That is, I have already created a part over here. Oh, this is a simple part and I have sketched it and I have extruded it. Here there are two holes uh, where it is going to be fixed and I have already applied the material. I have already applied stainless steel, assigned the material to it. Now we will see how to use the shape generator. You can do it using two methods. Go to environments and you will see an option called stress analysis. Click on stress analysis. Here click on create study. Here there are three different options. Static analysis, modal analysis and shape generator. You have to use the shape generator option and then click on OK. The other method is in the 3D model tab, here you will have an option called shape generator. Just click on it and then click on OK. Even though if you have not assigned the material in the previous, that is while modeling session, you can assign the material by using the assign. Click on assign and here I already assigned the stainless steel as the material. And the safety factor I am going to consider is as a yield strength. You can apply different materials. Here there are different uh, analysis like different case studies. I am going to choose the option shape generator 1. And I have, if you have not assigned the material, assign the material. Suppose now I am assigning the material to stainless steel. I uh, am going to assign suppose I am going to assign only steel or say suppose uh, mild steel yeah then we'll assign it close this you can see the original material is steel mild and then click on ok and now here you have to add the constraints here you are having different kinds of constraints fixed pin and frictionless here i have made the two holes in the model so that the fixtures are fixed so I am going to use the option fixed constraint and I am going to fix it. I am selected the end part of the circle. You don't need to choose uh, the whole thing that is like this. You can choose the whole cylinder also. The both the effects will be the same. And then click on apply. You can use the advanced option such as use the vectors. Uh, but here it's not the complicated case so i'm not going to use the advanced options and now you can see the symbol it has been fixed uh, the fixed symbol has shown and now i'm going to apply the loads here there are different kinds of loads like force pressure bearing load moment load gravity load here i'm going to apply the pressure load and select the phase where you need to apply by default, the direction is automatically taken. If the direction is not proper, you can change it. And then click on OK. I'm going to assign 5 MPA and then click on OK. You can now see the arrow marks has been added. And now I'm going to use the option preserve region. That is, I'm going to preserve. See, if I use the shape generator, the Software automatically optimizes the model for the given applied load, hence reducing the material and the cost. See, it will remove all the material, but I don't want these holes to be removed. Okay, because it is needed, it, because it is a function uh, needed. I'm going to select the circle and I'm going to enlarge it a little bit so that uh, I'm giving it an offset. Suppose say 15 mm. Uh, 15 mm is quite large, so 12 mm. And then click on apply. And for the same thing, this one also uh, 12 mm. I'm going to give. And then click on apply. If you want, you can give it for the upper face also. I'm giving it for the upper face. Okay, let it be. Okay, let it be around 11 mm or say 12. 
because this much load is this much of area minimum I have to give because here the direct load is applied. If you don't want uh, to give it, don't give it, but it will be automatic automatically be considered because load is applied directly over here and then click on OK. And now here you are having the symmetric plane. Symmetric plane is something which it should be asymmetric uh, if the object is asymmetric you can choose the symmetric plane about which it has to be symmetric that is on the both the symmetric plane side it will be the same amount of material removed. Uh, I'm going to choose this. Yeah. Now this plane is the plane highlighted in pink color is selected. And now I'm going to use the mesh and generator settings. Here there are different options like you see here the original mass of the part is 1.52 kgs. Here I ha I'm having the mass target. I can either reduce it by percentage that is 60% or I can add the target mass that is I want to get minimum uh, get the mass final mass size mass should be of 0 0.608 kgs or I can either reduce it by 60% the original mass is displayed over here and here there is a resolution mesh resolution. And the more fine fine you take, the more processing it will do and the more accurate the results will be there. So uh, more finer means it will take a lot of computing time and, and it depends upon the, your system configuration also. So I'm going to keep it a little bit low so that it can be fast. And then click on OK. And here there is a mesh settings. Here, see. It uses a concept of FEA, finite element analysis. That is, this whole part will be meshed into small elements, and the small elements are taken, are considered while calculating the stress, strain, and so on. Here, the average element size. This is the minimum element. That is the average size, and the minimum element size is 0.2. And oh. We cannot change that and uh, so it depends upon the shape generator mesh resolution. And when you, after using all this option, you can click on generate shape and click run. Here, if there is any error while computing the results, the warning will be displayed. If it is not showing here, if it is failed, you can just click on this more option. It will display the warnings. And now here you can see the original mass is 1.252 kgs and the new mass is 0.613. Total percentage of mass reduction is 60%. Here you can see the meshed view. This uh, mesh meshing uh, view, you can see this all this box and this line line thing is meshed uh, so that it is reduced. And this is the final structure which can be optimized for the same amount of load. And now we'll click on promote shape and we'll use the current part file and then click on OK. And now use the 3D modeling options so that you can cut the excess material for the same amount of load by looking into the mesh. Now I'm using the spine line.
I'm going to give it a little bit offset. Because the surface are not even and not uniform. Because the meshing will be done into very small parts. And now I'm going to project these lines. And again, spy line. And now click on finish sketch and now we use the option extrude and cut them excess amount of material. I'm going to select all this close profile. Here this profile is not fully closed and the line is a uh, little bit extra so I'm going to click on edit sketch. I'm going to trim this excess line using the trim option. And this is not fully defined proper, it's not a closed loop. So I'm going to coincide, yeah. And now I will use the extrude option. And I'm going to cut through all. And here again to check whether the this part will fail or not. Again go to the environment stress analysis. And the, for the same amount of load I'm going to create another uh, case study or you can here itself you can create another study and here I am going to use the static analysis and then click on ok and I am going to assign the same material initially it is assigned and I am going to fix these two components and I am going to apply the same amount of load that is 5 MPa and now we will click on simulate And here you can see this is the optimum design result. Instead of having the whole part which I have shown in the initial stage, this it can be reduced, reducing the cost as well as the time as well as the manufacturing cost and the cost of the material also. You can see the amount of stresses induced are very less for the same for the given amount of load by reducing the material cost and the manufacturing cost and here they are different uh, results you can view you can see the stress first principal stress and third principal stress and displacement also you can see just by clicking on it and having uh, right, uh, right click it and activating it i am going to use the non mice stress and here you are having the option to animate also you can see how the the results shows and you can just show the displacement also and animate it and here while well, you can just click on the probe and when you click on the probe it shows and when you click on the convergence it shows the graph 
and thank you for watching my video please like and subscribe my video for any suggestions comment and don't forget to use the link to win an amazon gift voucher thank you